Last poem, um, when I first moved here from the East Coast, I totally fell in love with ornamental plums. And like every spring I'd write like 10 ornamental plum poems until my friends were like, can we stop already? That's enough, enough with the ornamental plum. But I couldn't, I couldn't stop. Ornamental plum. What was said in anger that day and passed between the two lovers who lie separated by time and distance unravels slowly as this tree does, facing its portion of sky and water. It owes so much to fruitlessness, to the wind moving coldly between branches, the lamps and cars winding along the freeway, and the nothing new that can be said about spring or love. Blossoms will slip from stems, and it will be summer again, green leafing in between houses, lengthening days. Whether the lovers want to be stung by yes or no, the tree stages its flowering beside a road, because to be beautiful is the same, but not quite as forgiven. Thank you.